Okay guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make this cool displacing effect. Okay, I'm also going to be showing how to like kind of like build up for some impact. So let's get into it. Okay, and to make the actual glitch effect, you're going to need a plugin called Motion Extractor. Okay, I'll leave it in the description if I can. And let's get started. Okay, so I've started off with a basic remap. Okay, and you want to pre-comp it. So let's add, you know, I'm going to add some motion tile. Motion tile. Okay, and let's make it just to give it like some movement. Okay, maybe one there. And one for the build up. Set this to like 103, 120. See how this looks. Okay, that's fine. Now let's make a basic shake. Okay, I found that low frequency shakes work a lot better for cut edits, but obviously you can do what you like. So I like to keep it between like two to four. Okay, mess around the phase. I want some tilt as well, and I want some Y. Let's bump this up to like one day. I don't want so much X. Okay, it's like a little shake. That looks good because it goes with the camera movement. Okay. So that's done. Okay, now we can actually go on to building the scene. So, I might make an adjustment now. Let me put some hot spots. Maybe add some. Uh, uni experts, it's a bit too much. Okay, that's fine. Uh, there's a bit of movement here. Motion trails. Okay, I want to dig this a bit so you can actually see the effect. Okay, so you can already kind of see it coming together. It looks it already looks kind of decent, but okay. Now you wanna take the bit that you want with the effect, duplicate it, motion extractor. Okay, now put this above motion top or it'll like glitch out. I don't know why. Set this to 100. Subtract. And if you want it black and white, Luma. Okay, I'm just going to use Luma for this, but... Yeah, it looks cool other way, you just got to mess around with it. I'm going to tick all these three boxes. Okay, this one makes it, like, brighter. It will look different for every clip. So you can already see it. And maybe you want to add some gradient wipe to it. Okay, I don't want it fully because I want you to kind of still see the weapon. Actually, I don't want to bump this, up. Bump this down. Like, yeah. 
That's fine. Boom. Okay, and obviously you can change the colour of it, so I want some tint. You can you know change the colour of it, you can add colour armor. There's so many things you can do. So yeah. Someone just asked me in Discord how I made this. I thought I'd show it. Thank you.